Welcome. In this video, we'll cover OSPF cost calculation and how to configure the bandwidth value for the interfaces. In our scenario, we have three networks. Network 192.168.10.0/24 here, and the network 192.168.20.0/24 between the routers, and network 192.168.30.0/24. Okay. OSPF uses the bandwidth to calculate the cost and select the best path based on this cost. I've changed the bandwidth of the interfaces as you see. The bandwidth of router 1 fast 0, 0 equals 7000 kilobit per second. And the bandwidth of router 1 fast 0, 01 1, 100,000 kilobit per second. Here 5000 kilobit per second and here 6000 kilobit per second. The first point, let's see how to view the value of the bandwidth for each interface. We'll go to router 1 here and show interface FAS00. Let's see the value of the bandwidth 7000 kilobit per second as you see here on GNS3. Also let's see the value of the bandwidth of FAS01 or router 1. Show interface FAS01. The value of the bandwidth is 100. Sorry, 10,000 kilobit per second. The second point, let's see how to change the bandwidth value. Select and interface to configure conf t interface fast 00 and type the bandwidth command and type the value of the bandwidth in kilobit per second. So here, for example, I want to change it to 6,000 kilobit per second. Enter. Let's view the router one FAS00 bandwidth value show interface FAS00 as you see 6000 I want to change it once more conf t interface FAS00 bandwidth 7000 again show interface FAS00 7000 again ok good the third and last point how to calculate the OSPF cost or metric. The OSPF cost calculation is based on a reference value of 100 megabit per second. So, the cost of any link or interface will be 100 megabit per second divided by the bandwidth of the interface or the configured bandwidth. 100 megabit per second equals to 100,000 kilobit per second. As you saw here, the bandwidth is written in kilobit per second. That's why I use this formula. I want to use 100,000 kilobit per second divided by the configured bandwidth or the interface bandwidth in kilobit per second. Also, you can use this formula. Let's see how to calculate the OSPF cost for the path from router 1 to router 2 network 192.168.30.0/24. So I want to calculate the cost for this path from here to this network. You should use or you must use the value of the outgoing interface toward destination. So which value of the bandwidth you will use for calculating OSPF cost? This value, the bandwidth of FAS00 or FAS01. You have to use the bandwidth value of FAS01 because this is the outbound interface towards the destination. And also a router 2, you have to use the bandwidth value of FAS00 because the path in this direction so the outgoing interface is fast 00 that's why if you want to calculate the path from router 1 to network 30 here you should use the reference value divided by the bandwidth of this interface fast 01 10000 kilobit per second plus the reference value 100 kilo, 100,000 kilobit per second divided by this interface bandwidth value 6,000 kilobit per second 100,000 divided by 10,000 equals 10 and 100,000 divided by 6,000 equals 16 so the OSPF cost from router 1 to network 30 equals 26
let's calculate the OSPF path cost from R2 to network 192.168.10.0 slash 24. The OSPF cost value is 100,000 divided by this interface FAS01, 5,000 kilobarit per second, because this is the outgoing interface towards the destination network. And I will go to this router. This is the incoming interface, and FAS00 is the outgoing interface toward the destination. So plus 100,000 divided by 7,000 kilobit per second. So the cost is 34. The cost from left to right, or from router 1 to network 30, doesn't have to match the cost from router 1, or from right to left, or from router 2 to network 10. Let's verify these calculations. Go to router 2 or router 1 and type show IP route. As you see, router 1 can reach network 30. Network 30. And this is the metric 26. As you see, go to router 2 here. Type show IP route. Okay. So router 2 can reach network 10. And this is the metric 34 as we see here. So you can change the OSPF cost by changing the bandwidth of the interfaces. Also, you can change the OSPF cost by using IP OSPF cost command. Let's see if I want to change this cost. Fast01 cost equals 100,000 divided by here 10,000. As you see, the cost of this interface is 10. I want to change it, for example, to 20, interface fast 01, IP OSPF cost 20. This cost, IP OSPF cost, will override the calculated cost here. So now, the cost from R1 to R2 network 30, okay, will be 20 plus 16, Let's see here, show IP route. Here it will be 36. So the OSPF cost here will override the calculated cost. Also, you can change the reference bandwidth or the reference value, which is by default 100 megabit per second or 10 to the 8 bit per second. Okay, by using the command auto cost reference bandwidth by typing router OSPF 10. Okay, and type auto cost reference bandwidth and type here the default or the reference bandwidth in terms of megabit per second. Subscribe to the channel to get automatic updates in your YouTube guide. Also visit netsyshorizon.blogspot.com. Thank you for watching.